Well, talk about putting your money where your mouth is. Um, I was yarning to my mate Robert out at, at Lanatech, you know, and I told him how I'd, first thing I did with the Mahindra, within two weeks of owning it, was get it up, get underneath it, and spray steel seal everywhere. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you look at photos of Milo over the years, um, she's been stuck on beaches down in Tasmania. She's been in the quicksand in South Australia. Uh, that many times I had to drive through salt water for various reasons, whether it was a, a make-a-wish run or whether it was because some cameraman wanted a nice splash shot. But she saw her share of salt. And it was quite often a long time between, you know, getting to the next fire hose, so to speak. Um, weeks at a time, which can really cause a lot of damage. But I proved, I think, to myself, and certainly to a whole lot of other people, that just good old normal landlord tech, you know, the, the general purpose one, which was all we had in those days, used to do the best job ever. I tried everything before that. I've, I've tried electronic and I don't like the smell of fish, you know, and that doesn't really do the job anyway. But what happened was, Lanatech sort of launched, latched onto this and decided that, you know, this is a major area where we can help because, of course, being based on lanolin, it's 100% environmentally friendly, which is exactly what you want when you're trying to convince people you still should be allowed to drive on beaches and out in the bush and all these other places. Last thing you want to do is use some sort of sump oil derivative or something like that, especially because things like that eat into rubber. So very, very quickly, you know, lanolin, lanotech, has become the number one go-to for any sort of rust proofing. So as soon as I got the new Mahindra, up she goes, bang, underneath, filled the whole thing up as much as I could, all the seam seals and everything, but with a new product. Well, a new for the last few years, steel seal. So we sort of went from general purpose lanotech, and then, and then we moved up to the heavy duty lanotech, and then we got the steel seal, and steel seal is sort of enhanced again so that it forms much more of a film, you know? But it still has this beautiful, beautiful quality of absorbing itself into almost anything. If you're going to go off-road, even if you're going to keep a vehicle for a long time on-road, at some stage you want to think about sealing it all up. Um, so, along comes the Lanatech boys, they go and buy themselves a brand new Ford Ranger just to prove that it's going to work. Now, why the Ford Ranger? Well, it's typical of all modern cars in that it's made up of overlap, you know, pressed steel panels underneath. Now, this is a wonderful method of construction and they do have ways of um, ensuring some degree of rust proofness in, in that. But of course, it's those seams where rust always starts because water gets in there salt gets in there it stays in there it works itself around you wind up with a rust spot somewhere the best thing about the ford for the this you know particular display of prowess if you want to put it that way is that it's got this semi um pressed steel hole from one side to the other it's actually one of the main beams underneath the support beam but you can see it and you can also see how it's overlapped all the way made out of steel panel now it's a perfect place to trap water salt sand all that kind of stuff create rust so the guy said right let's get one of these things we'll seal it up right from the start it's only a week old we're going to give it the full works burger which is made really easy thanks to this great big wand with a, a nozzle you can turn around you know especially for old blokes like me who aren't real good at bending over i can get in here i can do almost the whole thing not a problem at all and then places like that that particular hole we're talking about we just thread it through now i reckon it's probably going to take two three liters tops of steel seal to do the whole thing underneath right at the beginning okay and then we're going to come back to this vehicle probably every six months to start with maybe every year and see how it's going in the meantime it'll get used in all the situations you use a vehicle like this for and seeing as we're up here in glorious queensland it'll be going up the odd beach too so we can monitor it we can uh, just literally put it all down so that the whole world can see how good it is a couple of things that we should mention I've used one of these before, it's a beautiful tool. Uh, also the two litre bottle you can use with a spray. 
you don't want to use a pressure pack for this quarter kind of job, it just, just takes too long and there's hydrocarbons in pressure packs that aren't always good for things underneath the car. Right oh, well I'd better get into this. Of course, steel seal is wonderful around suspension. Not only does it stop the corrosion, which of course you're going to get as soon as these leaves start rubbing against each other, uh, it's going to take the paint away. You know, there'll be a little rust, but what you also get is a lubricant ability and it makes leaf springs run really beautiful. It's one of the things I enjoyed in Milo over the years. Every time I'd just whack the steel seal on, she just feel beautiful. Electrical connections, things like that, as much overspray as you can get around them, it's all good. It's not going to do any harm at all and it's going to seal it up. It is going to take the new look away once it gets a bit of dust on, it's going to look dusty all over. You can fix that if you want. Citra Force is actually the best thing to get leather tech off and because it's all natural you can do it out on the lawn, it makes no difference. Um, and don't forget, you know, the chassis is, has got holes in all over the place. You want to get the wand in, get the angles around and just, you know, launch right into it. Don't spare the horses because at the end of the day, a modern vehicle like this one has got so many tiny little areas and seams, pockets where salt and water can get in there and slowly start its work. Five years time it can be dead or well, five years time it can be just fine, just need a wash with Citra Force and off she goes again. So if you love your vehicle and you like uh, off-roading, you've really got to use some steel seal.